Starting in the top right corner of the display, you'll see the time and date. On the left, you'll see six programmable keys. On the right, you'll also see another six programmable keys. These are usually set up by your service provider. The bottom of the display has five contact-sensitive menu-driven buttons. The first one is for applications. Then there is history, redial, features. You may see a menu option on the fifth button, depending on how your phone is provisioned. There is a standard dial pad. There is a navigation cluster where you can scroll up, down, left, or right. The button in the middle acts as an enter key. It also brings up a menu of telephone settings. Below that is a volume bar that you can turn down or up. There is a dial or send button. There is a speakerphone button. And on the right side of the phone, there is a voicemail button, a contacts button, a transfer button, a conference button, a hold button, a headset button, and a mute button. The navigation cluster allows you to scroll up, down, left, and right. While the phone is idle, if you select the up arrow button, it will quickly show you your DHCP settings, including your IP address, your MAC address, and your software version. While the phone is idle, the center button in the navigation cluster will bring up a new menu of items, beginning with call history, the status, contacts, messages, preferences, phone, system, and reboot. Select the home button on the bottom of the display to return to the home screen. While you're on a call, you can increase or decrease the speaker volume or the handset volume using the volume bar below the navigation cluster. While you're on a call, you can also use the mute button to silence your microphone. Once muted, you'll see an icon of a muted microphone on the top of the display. This works for both the speakerphone and the handset. When the mute button is engaged, it'll backlight red. Pressing it again enables the microphone. To enable Do Not Disturb, select the Feature button from the bottom of the display. The screen refreshes and you can select Enable Do Not Disturb or dial star 78. Do not disturb is now enabled. Thank you. While you're in Do Not Disturb, in most cases all calls immediately go to voicemail. To disable Do Not Disturb, select Features from the bottom of the display and scroll down and select Disable or dial star 79. Hit Select. Do Not Disturb is now disabled. Thank you. When you select History on the bottom of the display, 
the screen refreshes and it shows all for the call history. You can use the navigation cluster to scroll right through answered calls, dialed calls, missed calls, transferred calls, and back to all calls. You can scroll down and highlight any call you wish and if you want, select Dial on the bottom of the display to call that party back. You can clear all entries. You can delete a single entry. Press the back arrow to return to the home screen. To add a directory entry, select the Contacts button on the right side of the phone. The screen refreshes and select Local Phone Book. Select New from the bottom of the display and the screen refreshes. You can type the party's name Scroll down move through the various field entries. Enter the party's phone number and if necessary include a long distance code and an outbound prefix. You also have the ability to assign multiple numbers to a single entry and assign ringtones. Select Save to update. Select the back button to return to the previous menu. To initiate a phone call, simply dial the outgoing digits on the dial pad. This could be true for an internal or external call. The phone will automatically go to speakerphone when you press dial or the send button. We have an active call, we know, because we have a solid green light against our Call Appearance button. If available, we'll see the caller ID and the call duration. The bottom of the display shows End Call, New Call, and Transfer. To place the call on hold, select the button with the two lines through it. Your Call Appearance button begins to flash green the bottom of the display has refreshed. You can select Resume to pick the call back up or press the Hold button again. A held call is exclusive to your phone. We have an active call we know because there's a solid green indicator against our Call Appearance button. If available, we'll see the caller ID and the call duration. We can place a call on hold, which is exclusive to our phone, or we can use one of the park buttons that have been pre-programmed. If a park button is lit green, it implies that it's vacant. Select it once, and it will flash red, and the call has now been parked. You can go to any other phone and press the red park button to pick the call up. When the call has been retrieved, the park button will then turn green, indicating that it's vacant. If a call is parked at another phone, you will see that the park button has turned red, indicating that it's in use.
We have an active call, we know, because we have a solid green light against our call button on the top left. If available, we'll see the caller ID and the call duration. The bottom of the display shows a menu where you can end the call, initiate a new call, or transfer. Selecting transfer refreshes the menu options and allows you to blind transfer. Selecting that, you can dial an extension and select blind transfer and the call has been transferred to your colleague. If unanswered, in most cases, it will end up in the user's mailbox. Another option is to select an attended transfer or a supervised transfer. Doing this allows you to dial the intended party, allow them to answer, and you're able to converse with them and announce the party that you wish to transfer to them. To complete the transfer, select the transfer button from the bottom of the display. To transfer directly into a colleague's mailbox, select Transfer, select Blind Transfer, dial 03 and the party's extension, and select Blind Transfer again. The transferred call will go directly into your colleague's mailbox. We have an active call, we know, because we have a solid green indicator against our call appearance button. If another call comes in, it will ring on the second call. This is shown with an alerting red light, and if available, the caller ID, name and number will be shown on the bottom of the display. Select Answer, and you automatically put the first call on hold. You can select either line button to toggle between the two calls. We have an active call, we know, because we have a solid green light against our call appearance button. The bottom of the display shows end call, new call, and transfer. To add a third party, Select the conference button indicated by the icon of three people on the right side of the phone. Next, dial the digits of the party you wish to add and select dial or send. When the party answers, announce to them that you would like them to join a conference. Select the conference button a second time to join all parties. Now that you're in a conference, the bottom of the display will indicate kick. This allows you to remove one party from the call. You can toggle left or right to see the different parties and select submit to drop that party from the call. 